Okay guys, so we did the front of the building. We took some pictures of there. We annotated some of that stuff. We did our 360 and now we took the rest of the pictures and we're gonna go over how to put the annotation on those. And we're gonna start with the overhead view. And where this is important is everything's in one shot. You get an incoming company, they have to look at one picture instead of say three, four, five, or however many it takes you to go around your building. And you get all that information in a quick snapshot. What we'll do is we pull up that picture, we'll hit the pencil, and by doing this, we can add our A, so we'll call the front here. The address side will be A, and then we'll work our way around from there and label everything as we go, adding the symbols, making them as big as you want so it's nice and easy to see and out of the way. And then we'll add our delta. Oops, got them flipped. And then once we've done our 360, now we know where the other stuff is, such as your gas, your electric, any other hazards that might be there at a building if you have propane, uh, things like that. And we'll add those here. So we use our electric symbol, and that is over here. We'll take this next, and then we'll add our gas symbol. And what's nice about this one is that it's all just in a row. Be careful when you're doing some of the strip models. They may be with the individual units. Make sure you uh, label that accordingly. And if you have six back there, label six individually. If you have a bank, label as one, but just make sure you put that so that each one gets turned off given the incident. And then we have back here, we have a generator and we'll just use this exclamation point and that'll just draw the attention if something does happen there, if it ever starts on fire or anything like that. Also, we're gonna add our sprinkler system, our connection here in the front. And again, you can stack it all They'll, they'll get the point of where it's at and that the pertinent information is, is all right there in that same general area. And again, you just make it as clean as you can just so that they know where everything is kind of in one shot here, okay? So we hit save in the upper right hand corner. All that information is there. You got your snapshot done. Once that saves, we'll go to the other pictures and then they'll have more uh, better pictures of everything and a little bit closer. Now this one has the electric on this side and some of them, again, they might have individual electric shutoffs for each unit. Just make sure that you label that accordingly. If it's one big one, then it's kind of nice where you can just do it in one spot similar to what this building has. And then you just add that and you hit save. And then what we'll do is we'll go around to the next side. And again, this is pretty quick. The program saves easy and everything is just streamlined right to it. So this side has the generator. We're again gonna add symbols and we'll just use the exclamation point. You can use whatever your department deems necessary. Hit save. And then we'll go to the last side of the building which has the gas. Again, add symbol. You use your gas symbol, super easy to use. You hit anything else, you just add the symbol, hit save. And then everything is in there. You can just double check and cycle through all the pictures, make sure all that information is in there. And then once that's in there and you're satisfied with how everything is turned out, you're good to go. You can hit back. And then if you do need to add more information, you can go to the desktop version. With a desktop version, you can do more detail. You can do text boxes or subsection of the building. You can add lot numbers. You can do a whole bunch of other things that if you guys want and your department deems it necessary, you guys can go ahead and do that on the desktop version and add things that you need to add that are pertinent to that building, however you guys have in your areas. And that's going to be it basic for a basic strip mall setup, guys. Thank you.